We would be honored if you would join us. Before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another episode of the Clone Wars Thursday Throwbacks. We're looking at Sarah Pass this time, this video goes out to Sci-Fi, who um, I hope after seeing this video he remembers this guy's name. <laughs> it's come up a few times in conversations with him. Um, so hopefully Sarah Pass will stick in now, mate. <laughs> no, he's, uh, this is an absolutely fantastic figure. Um, just really, really cool. Love the idea of it. Uh, you know, I remember just finding this on a whim, like this was a pretty sought after figure when it was released back in 2010, 11. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a tricky one to track down. I remember just absolutely fluking it in a big W, um, which is, a, you know, a Walmart sort of style uh, thing down here in Australia. So I was very, very happy to pick this guy up. Um, and yeah, really nice figure. It's been in my collection for a long time now, but before we look into the figure, let's take a look at the, the card. We've got the little battle game card here. Nice little image of Serapis at the top there. You can see all these stats, all bits and pieces. Again, just the rules to the galactic battle game. Nothing too exciting there. We've got the card back. An image of Serapis at the top there. And on the back. And you get a little look at Sarah Pass is uh, manning the mech suit. So Sarah Pass is a bounty hunter who helps Felicians protect their crops from pirates. The diminutive hunter sits inside a robotic suit to appear larger and more threatening. When the suit is destroyed, he discovers he can fight just as effectively without it. Or as Ahsoka tells him, he doesn't have to look tough to be tough. So it includes sniper rifle, hidden weapons, some other figures in the wave. Captain Rex, we have Kit Fisto in Snow Gear, which was based on a comic uh, where him and Plo Koon were on a mission. The Stealth Ops Clone Trooper and Sacy Teen with his weird sort of glider thing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I have that bit, bit anymore, but I definitely still have the Sacy Teen. And my backdrop just fell down, so we'll fix that before we continue on. We'll take a look at the figure. And in slides, Sarah Pass. What an awesome looking figure. It's just, you know, it's a nice bulky size. I'm just going to take him off the stand for a moment. We'll take out his sniper rifle so we can have a close look at that. Now, I believe this, this was used with a couple of figures, I think. Um, can't remember which ones. Maybe LS... This is one of the uh, bounty hunters on Camino. It's a nice piece nonetheless. Hey, here he is. This sort of big metallic mech suit. Sort of uh, markings and stuff. Interesting, there's a bit of a wolf on the uh, thigh pad there, thigh guard. It's sort of cast in that sort of pearly looking plastic. It sort of gives gives look to the uh, to the sort of metallic metallic nature of the suit. I think it works really well. There's that sort of wolf symbol on the back again. And different sort of markings. I love the look of the helmet. Really, really cool. You sort of see the eyes. And again, these. Little secret weapons here on the arms sort of pop out. This is a bit of a let's see if I can work this out. It's been a while. So it spins out. Get a little a little grinder there. So it tucks back in. And on this side, just poke that through. We got a little sort of laser laser pistols in there sort of thing laser darts so that's cool you know again helmet lifts up and you can see little Serapas sitting in there at its controls let's see if we can zoom up a little bit more on him 
So here's just a static little figure that sits in there in his control pad. Fantastic details inside this thing. Let's see if we can get a little bit more light. Awesome details in there. Really, really nice. Little control pads. And yeah, like I said, just a just a little static little figure. You know, he's got his little little hands that can fit around the uh, little control knobs there. Just a cute little dude. Fantastic details for something so small too. It's probably no bigger than the uh, modern day sort of Grogu figures. I'm pretty sure these. Armor parts come off here too. I don't really need to, but needed help just getting the figure back in. They're not too obstructing, so. And there he is. It doesn't really lock in, it just sort of sits forward. Love it. It's such a cool figure, man. Look, I just, <laughs> I'm so glad that I got this the day I did. I don't know if I've, I would have seen it again, honestly. I mean, I dare say I probably would have found it at some point through secondary market, but to be able to find it at retail when I did, very, very lucky. I still remember it to this day. I was so, so stoked. If I do have an original review on my channel of this one, I'll, I'll endeavour to put that in the uh, in the little links at the end of the video, so you can, so you can go check check out the uh, the cringy cringy video of yesteryear. It'd probably be a decade ago at this point, but it should be a good laugh. Again, I'm sure it's buried on the channel somewhere, so I'll do some hunting and uh, yeah. So stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll I'll chuck that in there if you. If you want to check it out, but yeah, articulation, I guess we sort of went through the, uh, the head sort of flips up those sort of shoulder pieces come out the sort of shoulder chest armor he has ball hinges up in the, uh, shoulders there, ball hinges in the elbows, just swivels in the wrists, does have a swivel at the, t sort of in the middle of the abdomen there, ball hinges. At the uh, thighs there, a little bit hindered, but it's fine. Ball hinges in the knees. And yeah, no ankle articulation on this guy, but you know, probably does aid to his stability a little bit, being, you know, a little bit bigger. He, uh, a little bit top heavy, perhaps, you know, with those ankles, he may, he may have, you know, taken a tumble every now and then, but still just a really, really nice figure. So. Well, definitely enjoyed getting this guy out for another look. It's it's sort of it, that's what I'm loving about doing these videos is being able to take a look at these these figures I haven't really given much appreciation to over the last you know so many years. It's good to like you know actually look at these things again and give it a little bit of love. I really appreciate the work that goes into it. So definitely love to hear your thoughts. Sound out down below. Any other requests? I'll add them to my list. But uh, yeah, I'll leave it with that. This has been Serapis for another episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwbacks. I'll see you next time. May the Force be with you, always.